Okay, and they're, they're, they got a, a nice amount of, uh, of uh, boom bang on. Okay. We got some extra coming him on. Looks like the out haul is nice and tight. And I just wanted them to move their jib leads back a little bit. Because it looks like that jib was too powered up. Okay, that looks good. So you can see that they got some luff in, in the front part of their main, which is fine. Uh, to keep them flat. Okay, that, that looks really good. You can also probably pinch up a little bit harder. Get that, get your inside telltale flying a little bit higher up. But you guys look good. And again, just keep an eye out to windward for puffs. So they're looking pretty good. Your puff, your puff. That's Cali. Okay. okay, can we see you guys do a uh, tack when you're ready? There you go, yeah, that's the hard one. Okay, she waits till she goes up. She goes under, she does the... Okay, that was better. We got the jib sheet around. I don't like the mid boom sheeting on these things. How's the jib slot? Can you tell much about the jib slot? Okay. There you go. Okay, now that you've turned down wind, make sure to ease out your boom bang. Boom bang in Cunningham. And the Cunningham. Yeah, he's the bang then. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> she's the bang. Sam, the she he's the bang. She he's the bang. Yeah. Okay. I think they did a little. We probably do a little more. Okay, Kelly, if you, if you head up maybe five degrees, it'll be a little bit less squirrely. Um, you might also put your crew down to leeward or put him to windward so you can sit to leeward so that you're not in the middle. Put your crew down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a much better, much better position for steering. Yeah. Going straight downwind, they're probably not going to fly that much. Uh, you just want to ease out as much as possible. And if you if you have a little twist in the main, that's that means that your your boom bang is probably set properly. So you probably can ease out the boom bang a little bit. There we go. And we're going to judge. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> this is going to fairly do. Hold position pretty good. Yeah, the, actually, the, the, the spinnaker right now it looks good. Maybe go up just a little bit, but it looks decent. Okay, there you go. Head back down. Head back down. Yeah. What the? <laughs> and then I just want to make sure they don't hit the point either. Telltales a masthead fly on that boat? No, she doesn't have a masthead fly, which would help. Uh, the main thing that we notice is that you can ease off a little more your main sheet when you get hit by those puffs to flatten it back out. So once you flatten out, then pull back in. Uh, some of those puffs you are carving up into the breeze a little bit, which is great. Just make sure as soon as you start to fight the helm, uh, ease, first thing you want to do, ease out. You see it very much bang on. Yeah, how much, how much, uh, bend you get in the main, on the... Okay, so right now, I'm looking at your, at your leech profile. Looks like your, your top mountain is pointing a little bit out. You might see if you can get a little more boom bang on. See if you can get it straight out. Yeah, 
Yep. Yep. And if it lightens up, then you can start easing that out. That tightened up his leech a little bit, didn't it? That's a little closer. Still a little bit out there. And it's okay to have that inside tail tail flying or even laughing a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. When you guys are ready, we'll do another tack. Okay, that's pretty good. I would still hold your, your tail extension a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, and oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, that's a little better, so just keep practicing that. And it's actually it's good practice just to you know, stand there, stand straight up and steer a little bit. But it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's have turn down with it. So anytime you're fully hiked out. Or even in these conditions, you can two block the main. Okay. Okay, so in, the, in this condition, uh, even when you're two blocked, it looks like you can still power up a little bit. So you might ease your uh, outhaul maybe an inch. And you can and your. Uh, your cutting hand can be fairly light. Uh, yeah. That's a fun boat. <laughs> Just throw that thing anywhere you want. No. I don't like lasers because you can always show, you easily demonstrate the overgrown wrinkles. You know, on the left, left curve. Okay, my only other suggestion in this condition is that if you can keep it a few degrees flatter, uh, you'll, you'll be able to cut through this chop a little bit better. Uh, your position fore and aft looks really good. That's good. That's good stuff, except for that right there. Okay, that was really good, except for the very last part where you used your teeth. <laughs> so if you can swing, if you can swing, ready for you to use it. But uh, besides that, the timing was great. Uh, you're, you're coming over the boat at the right time. Your, your handoff looks really good. So it's just that last part. Can we step to your right? Back to him before this puff. Back yeah. before the puff. Puff 
coming. <laughs> coming, there it goes. Power conditions, especially as much as you feel before the boat's going to explode, you're going to really hang on the, on the boom, on the boom bag. Okay, now I think you can probably uh, steer up a little bit into the breeze, like you're, you're reaching down a bit. Yeah, there you go. And so basically, you just want to ease your main out when you get overpowered, and then bring it right back in to help you point up again. We can totally follow the ice dumps today. I don't think they did outrun us. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to the other thing I'd have you guys do if you had your cutting ham rigged up is I, you, once you get the boom bang on, I'd probably start pulling on the cutting ham. Don't worry about it today. But you can see you got those nice speed wrinkles off the front of your main. You would probably pull most of those out with the cutting ham. Explain what a speed rink is to them. I think it's just... Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think they know what it is. Okay. Okay, and the, the, the reason you get those nice wrinkles, so that's when, you're, when your uh, mast bends, you get those wrinkles that are radiating out of the clue that go towards the mast. So that's a good, that's a good thing. That's why we call them speed wrinkles. Uh, it just means your mast is nice and bent. Okay, so you just came into a lighter, lighter conditions. So shoot your main all the way in. And power up a little bit. Keep going. There you go. So this, as long as you're not overpowered, your main is going to be this tight in. You can actually pull a little tighter. See if you can get your your fattens a little bit further in. Oh, sorry, I did it right in the pump. Okay, there you go. So, so it's a little lighter on the other side of this pump. And as soon as it lightens out, you're going to pull your main sheet tighter. Sorry about that guy. Sorry, <laughs> Too many things to concentrate on at once. All our tag. Why don't you have him go through it a real tag? Yeah. Okay, there's your pup, so he's out. Okay, now the boat is flat, so shoot back in. And often when you ease out like that, it may only be for a second or two, and then as soon as the boat's flat, you start shooting back in. And again, you heel over a little bit, you down, as soon as you're flat. So there's the lighter conditions to begin. Same thing where he wants to switch too early. And they weren't on the wind when no. they started their attack, no. so it took a long time. Do they not have a boom, boom thing? They do. No, it just wasn't working very well. Okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that'll work. Much better on the uh, jib recovery that yep. time. 
Yeah. Okay, that was better for both you guys. Um, Jim, the uh, jib came around nice and right timing. And you can see it when you switch your, your tiller hand a little bit later, you still have plenty of control. You can still ease with your with your sheet hand if you need to. It just it's like you, there's no need to switch to speed the switch up as long as everything's under control. Try to not cleat the main and drop it. What's that? He cleated the main and dropped it. Oh, okay. Try to keep your main sheet in your hand though the whole time and uncleat it. You can see that. Other side, Jim. Okay, that one ended up going way over, yeah. Yeah. Stop for about 30 seconds and then come back down. Okay, so you can see when you trim in your main like that, the boat wants to turn up into the breeze. I do that all the time where I trim my main hard and suddenly the jib is laughing. Oh, here you go. Okay, yeah, so a, a quick ease of about three or four inches, hike out, and then trim it right back in. It's just that about parallel there, so it's turning in a little bit. Get a look at the slot? Yeah. So that's about the neutral position for your main. You can see how much more main sheet it requires. Uh, gym sheet looks really good. It looks like your uh, leeward telltale is coming pretty straight back. You may need uh, actually just a little more leeward uh, sheet. Move forward just a little bit, Harry. There you go, right there. Power. Yeah. Move forward just a little bit. So you can see with this neutral at uh, this neutral position, your top telltale on your main is uh, uh, is stalling a lot more, which is fine. And again, if you need to speed up, you ease out a couple inches. If you need to pinch, you pull in a few inches. Cut it back again. Yeah, you want to do a few more tacks? We'll take a look at those. Okay, so Dave, that was good that you held on to the tail extension a little longer. The other thing you can do to give yourself a little more space is that once you get around the, the centerboard trunk, take a step forward. Okay, so that was good acceleration out of the top. You waited a few seconds until you accelerated and then trimmed in. Back again. Here comes the puff, guys. Okay. So, see how you deal with this puff that's coming at you. Try to anticipate it. Three, two, one. There it is. So I think the guy was a little bit of a header. Okay, so that puff was a little bit of a header, so it didn't, it didn't require much from you. Uh, if it was a lift, you probably would have healed over a bit more and you'd have to swing up quite a bit. But uh, go ahead. again, just keep, keeping a watch of those coming down at you and trying to figure out what they're going to do. Okay, you want to do another tag? Put your stand there and sail for a minute with it behind your back. 
Okay, uh, first thing I notice is that your halyard can probably go up a little bit more. Your main halyard. So we won't suck your bangs on pretty hard right now. Okay? Uh, you got the sheet on nice and tight. Uh, when you're up to speed, try just trimming in a little tighter. See how much you can point up. Actually, got some oval band wrinkles there. Yeah. I mean, it, re it looks like you really can uh, really pull on that sheet. You know, it doesn't, you're still not hooking the bathrooms very much, and I think that's going to flatten out your main a bit. So, I, I would not be afraid to, to like, like you're doing, really hang on that sheet. And it's just you got to be ready to ease it off when you need to. Need some cutting the other hand. thing you might do is put on a little more cutting ham to have some of those speed wrinkles. There, coming all the way back down. So the, the general little thing is set up quite nicely. The profile, the back is quite nice. You like the general? Yeah, uh, right now I think it's shooting pretty well. Okay, we're on middle, middle on a car position. Okay. All right. Let him through a couple tacks. Okay, so once you guys get up to speed, let's do a couple of tacks. Keeping that top bat in parallel to the boom. Yeah, he's got the he's got the boom bang on quite tight, which is yeah. which is not bad. Okay, that was a little better, although you're still getting a little ass curve in the end of your time. So so you're still going a little too far. Okay. So I think it's just it's just a, a slightly less rudder. Um, but you guys are looking good. Let me deal with that. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we were in lasers last night, so it's... That, that'll do it. <laughs> Wham! <laughs> Interesting how they store their uh, boot. Right there, or the... the Let's uh, get them to go work with Kelly a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Pour <laughs> up a little bit more. I got a lot more bang on this. Please stop! Please stop it, though. Daddy, go really fast. Go really fast. Okay, Kelly. So when you feel good and you guys find it out, that's when you want to sheet it a little bit. Try to point up into the breeze a little more. Tougher. She really look, at her, look at her mane and look how it's getting backwinded. Yeah, and it takes like a, like when you're on a laser, you're used to hanging all the way out. Right, chopper. Not a 
I'd say the same thing as with a tack, so you might be able to slow it down a little bit. getting condensation in this viewfinder and then I can't see anything. <laughs> shooting at shapes. That's the dowsing round. Uh, maybe they'll play, but... oh, there they go. They're going to do it. There it went. 